Kate Middleton's role in the future of the British monarchy has become increasingly crucial, as both the royal family and the public look to her and Prince William to carry forward the institution's relevance. In recent years, she has emerged as a key figure in modernizing the monarchy, attempting to blend tradition with a more relatable, contemporary image that can appeal to younger generations. This effort became especially clear when she starred in a recent film project, signaling her intent to help shape the monarchy's public image in a way that resonates with the times. Kate and William's popularity remains the cornerstone of this effort. Polls consistently rank them as the most beloved members of the royal family, a stark contrast to the deeply controversial figures of Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and Prince Andrew, who are consistently viewed unfavorably. Harry and Meghan, in particular, have fallen out of favor with much of the British public due to their repeated criticisms of the royal institution and their highly publicized personal ventures, including their Netflix series. Prince Andrew's downfall, linked to his association with Jeffrey Epstein, has also severely tarnished his image, leaving Kate and William as the monarchy's primary torchbearers. Complicating this already delicate situation is the health of King Charles III. Now 75, Charles is battling cancer, casting doubt on how long he will be able to lead as monarch. While the palace has been cautious in its public statements, the implications are significant. Should Charles's health deteriorate further, it may force Prince William to ascend to the throne much sooner than expected, accelerating the need for a smooth transition of power. In the background of this unfolding drama is a pervasive criticism of how women, particularly Kate and Meghan, are portrayed by the media. Traditional, often outdated gender roles are reflected in the way both women are scrutinized. Kate's portrayal, for example, emphasizes her grace and steadfastness, which some argue does not acknowledge the full scope of the struggles modern women face, especially those like Kate, who are battling serious health issues. Meghan, meanwhile, is often painted as a self-promoter, seemingly out of touch with her claims of empathy and understanding. A flashpoint in the ongoing tension between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family came recently with the release of a Netflix promo for Harry and Meghan's documentary series, Tom suspiciously close to Kate's film release. This led to speculation that the couple may have deliberately tried to overshadow Kate's moment in the spotlight, which she used to present her vision for the monarchy's future. However, despite the timing, the public and media seemed largely uninterested in Harry and Meghan's latest endeavor, focusing instead on Kate and William's narrative. The Sussexes' attempts to leverage their royal titles have been met with increasing skepticism, with many accusing Harry and Meghan of using their status purely for personal gain. Their continued presence in the media, coupled with the apparent disconnect between their public calls for privacy and their frequent self-promotion, has further alienated them from a portion of the public. Particularly damning are accusations that Harry has distanced himself from key family moments, including his father's illness. His failure to visit Charles during his most recent trip to the UK has only deepened perceptions of a rift and a sense that his priorities no longer align with those of the monarchy. In contrast, Kate's handling of her own health struggles, particularly her decision to be open about her experience with cancer, has garnered widespread admiration. This transparency is seen as reflective of her commitment to modernizing the royal family's image, aligning it more closely with the challenges faced by everyday people. Meghan's public persona, on the other hand, has come under fire for being insincere, with critics accusing her of manufacturing a narrative for personal benefit, rather than engaging authentically with the issues she claims to champion. Ultimately, the comparison between Kate and Meghan serves as a lens through which the public and media analyze broader issues within the monarchy. While Kate is depicted as embodying the values of duty, tradition, and resilience, Meghan is often framed as the opposite, focused on celebrity, self-promotion, and conflict. This dichotomy is not only a reflection of personal differences, but also indicative of the larger cultural and institutional debates about the monarchy's future. As the royal family faces the possibility of a new reign under William and Kate, the stakes are high. Their ability to navigate the complexities of public opinion, media scrutiny, and internal family dynamics will shape not just their personal legacies, but the future of the monarchy itself. In this evolving story, Kate Middleton's role is pivotal, 
not only as a public figure, but as a symbol of the royal family's efforts to stay relevant in a changing world.